So if like me you like your pixels to be absolutely perfect square pixels then uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to make sure that happens in WinUAE. So the problem is as it starts up it's fine uh, but it's in this rather small window and if you're running at anything any kind of reasonable resolution it's a bit small to be watching in that. But if you put it into full screen it becomes all horrid. I'll show you. So yeah that's not right. Like you can see some of these pixels are just off. They're not quite all the same size, especially here. You can see that. So let's come out of that. And the problem is if you start to resize the window, it will just smudge everything terribly. So there's a few options we have, but where we're going to find them is not actually in the display tab. It's in the filter tab down here. So I click that. And you might be tempted to look here, scale 2x, okay that's probably going to scale up everything nicely. No, look at that, it's horrid. Why would you do this? That's awful. But um, yeah, I don't understand why emulators do this thing where they try to smudge it all the pixels, but because it looks terrible. So let's select uh, what we actually, the, all these, just ignore all these. What you want is the null filter. And then go over here and select no scaling. Press OK and you get this. So basically what this does is it keeps the scale the same despite the size of the window, but this is still still too small. So we just go into horizontal size and we change that to two times and that's two times. And there we have everything perfectly scaled up. So all these pixels are perfectly sized. Lovely. So we can go into, uh, into, into full screen mode and it still looks great. Now this is running at uh, 1920 by 1080 so this may differ depending on your resolution. If you're at a lower resolution um, then you might need to mess with these settings but you're you're always going to want these to be an exact multiple like if you have it at 2 point, like let's, let's see what it looks like at 1.5 it's not going to look quite right. I mean it doesn't look too bad but it's still it's it's a bit off and there is no we will not fall short of pixel perfection. So there's another little option, if I just uh, get a game running. So depending on the game, you might be able to get away with three times size at 1080p. But what we're going to need to do is move the horizontal and vertical position around a bit. So that it all lines up nicely. Because a lot of the different Amiga games, they actually use different amounts of screen space. Um, some of them use quite a lot and some of them you can basically chop off large portions of it and get a nice amount of it in uh, in frame. And you can experiment with different values here and you can actually set up a different configuration file for each game so you can enjoy maximum resolution and pixel perfection for all your Amiga games. And isn't that what we all want in life? Perfection of pixels? I do. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful to some of you uh, Amiga game emulators out there. So, thanks for watching.